welcome to my eighth episode of the Christmas calendar series. And last uh, night we had to um, end this rather abruptly because the video has got far too long and I need to be able to uh, to cut and make um, yeah the clipping of the video and also to review it and see that everything or most of it is right. And that I don't uh, I don't have a, a pile of videos stacked up. I just one day in front of uh, old production so. Sorry, I had to uh, to cut it. It was getting far too uh, too long, so I was not able to edit it in time. But today's episode eight, we are going to uh, just step in where we left on our last episode, and the first thing we are going to do is to check the seventy four zero zero gate. But basically, we are probably going to do something much uh, simpler. What if I just test all the gates on the uh, NAND gate? Oh no, I, I took away too much, of course, I need uh, the power. Like so. And this will be the output. So here I have a basic, basic NAND gate. What I basically do here is that I take this uh, 7400 gate that is um, looking like so in externally and have this internal gate setup. Something like this. This is the exact gate I'm using. And what I am now doing, I have this, uh, this switch here that is 1 and that is 0. And I connect it like so. And I have this other switch that is the same. And I just switching 1 and 0. And I do this according to the, the truth table. And the truth table is the one that we draw in episode 4. Like so. And I just test each combination here. And see what kind of output I get. And this is basically what I do, and I do this on, on every chip. And this is, of course, simplified, connected to um, a light here then. This is the, the simplified uh, explanation for uh, for this. And this is, of course, our 7414 with the LED. So this is just a sim symbol for the, the light bulb. So this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to change this for every gate if the first one is working. And the NAND gate should give out... Uh, one in every case except when both are one it's a zero so this should be the zero condition for this and it looks about right so that gate is working and this is the second gate And that's working. In numbers, this is the fourth gate. And it's working. And this is the third gate. And it's working. So why ain't our circuit working? And what I have done here is that I have written the pin numbers for uh, what is going to be connected where on this gate, so that I know where every lead should go. And one alternative can of course be to um, to draw up the chip, like we have done numerous times before. And we do have the, the switches, with 1 and 0, and with so. And one switch for this, and one switch for this. And I have the first output, and this first output is going both to one of the inputs on this one, and it also being connected to one of the inputs, like so. And then I have the other input on this gate here, it should be connected to this one here, like so, and the output of this one should be connected to one of the inputs on this gate, and the other 
input on this up here should be connected to this one like so and then I have the other output from this should be connected here and then I have the same diagram as I, I have there but I have now made myself a sketch on how I am going to couple this in this uh, circuit and of course if I drop the gate here it's it's possible to make a, a parallel on this and of course the circuit uh, we are trying to um, to copy is the one from from yesterday where we had our gate set up like so so this is the one we have reconstructed here and I double checked my coupling two times last night so let's see what we get this time Let's test again the switches they are easy the final output that's easy the bridging from the first to the second gate that's easy that also should bridge to this gate here so that's easy and then I should bridge from the other gate on that one to one of the switches here and I should bridge from the other of the switches to the other of this input and then I should take that output like this one and bridge it to the input of this one and then the last piece is that I'm take the output of this one and connect it to the last input of this one and that should be this circuit like so and now I'll couple it with the power on and now it's working I don't know what happened with my earlier coupling I might be able to go back on the video and and watch but I won't be able to do that today now you can see they are the same and it's not lighting no they're unequal it's lighting no they're equally low it's not lighting and no this is high and it's lightning so here is an XOR gate using this circuit here and why it didn't work before we might uh, never know Probably it was some, yeah, just some slight corrosion or something on the breadboard or the chip or on one of the cables. This is not thing I use every day, so of course oxidation will be a problem, especially when there is so low current as it is here. Then you have uh, finished watching my eighth uh, video in this uh, series with um, Logic and TTL circuits and i will continue this series at least for five more episodes and we see how uh, this goes this has uh, been a stressful week and the views will um, will rise i'm not sure but i'm still just above 100 on the most viewed video in this uh, series so please spread the word if you like uh, the content and uh, hope to see you again tomorrow thanks for watching